Hey guys, um, so I'm here to do a quick sponsor child update video um, for my sponsor child, Yorgelies. Uh, I was shocked to receive a phone call yesterday. Um, <clears throat> so I got a phone call from World Vision yesterday and they were calling to let me know that I would no longer be sponsoring Yorgelies. And um, there's two reasons for it. One is that the project in her community that World Vision has been running all these years, they are about to reach their goal um, for the community to be self-sufficient. Uh, they will be, um, they're just kind of like finalizing everything. And so they will officially be finished the project next year and will be leaving that community. And so I guess because of that, um, Yorgely's family became self-sufficient. And so they actually have moved from the community. And when that happens, um, that actually happened with my other sponsor child, Change who at the time I was sponsoring Change and Yorgelies at the same time. Um, but with her, I don't know about, I don't know if they became self-sufficient or whatever. They just suddenly moved and World Vision couldn't locate them. So I could no longer sponsor her. Um, so kind of the same thing has happened. Um, and it's really, I, I was really sad about it because I've sponsored Yorgelies the longest. Uh, I have sponsored her for 13 years. I've watched her grow up. And I was just really bummed that it happened that her family moved. Because when that happens, there's no goodbye. Like, there's no chance for me to send a letter or her to send a letter to say goodbye to one another after all these years. And, you know, if, if it had been that they stayed within the community until the project officially left, then there would have been an official, you know, sending of letters to say goodbye kind of thing. Uh, because once World Vision um, is finished with the community, um, you, can, you can't stay in touch with your sponsor child past that because for safety reasons, they don't give out actual home addresses of either person. You, all your correspondence goes through World Vision. So, um, so yeah, so I was just like really bummed out that, I mean, I, it's wonderful that they, you know, that they've accomplished the goals because that's, you know, obviously the main objective is to help communities and families become self-sufficient so I'm I'm thrilled with that news but I was just really sad that after 13 years I just I didn't get to officially say goodbye and so that that's been kind of difficult for me to comprehend and like kind of process um and I'm so upset because I bought her um some like school supplies that I was gonna send her actually I was planning to send it this month um, I had sent her some for Christmas but I was planning to send her more that I had just bought for her and I'm just so upset I didn't get a chance to do that and um, so yeah that's just it's like a bittersweet moment because it's like yes and you know they they pretty much said that the family had become self-sufficient and so they probably, you know, moved to a better area or they said, you know, a lot of times these fam, um, you know, family members will get like a job offer and so they have to leave and whatnot. So I just, it's just kind of unfortunate when it happens that way though, because I kind of would, it, it would have been nice if maybe somehow World Vision had a heads up that they were going to be moving so that we could officially say goodbye to one another. But um, yeah, so that's it for Yorgelies. Um, 
I I'm just like, ugh. so I will be sponsoring a new child because um, I definitely want to continue to do that. And so they told me that there was a 10 year old girl in another part of Nicaragua as it so turns out. Um, I had told them it didn't matter what country, like I just said whoever is the next available kind of thing. And it just so happened that it came up a, another girl from Nicaragua, um, not in the same part of Nicaragua, it's another part where there's another project that World Vision is running. Um, and this project they said will be there until 2023 I believe they told me. So I know that I'll be at least sponsoring this child till 2023. Um, and she is a 10 year old girl and I f totally forget her name. Um, but they said like they'll definitely be, they'll be sending me like a welcome letter and her photo and things like that. So, um, it'll kind of be nice that she's a little bit older at least. So she's already 10. So she, you know, she probably can write the letters herself already and I'll be able to pretty much send her like the same stuff that I was sending to yours, Liz, because it's sort of in the same age bracket. So anything that I still have here that I didn't get a chance to send to your Julie's, um, I'll be able to send to her. And um, it actually is kind of good, again, that she's in Nicaragua, Nicaragua, because that means that they'll be speaking the same language as your Julie's. And so I was, act I've actually been in the process of putting together a little photo book of my family and friends and things that I was going to send to your Julie's. And I had been using like, Google Translate to write in her language, like to label the pictures. And I had done that once before quite a few years ago. I had sent a photo book like that, but I was making an updated one for her. So again, I didn't get to send that to her because I didn't get a chance to finish it. So I guess I can finish it off now and send it to the new sponsor child. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, ugh. Oh. It's, it's a very bittersweet moment. Um, I, I'm super grateful that I was in a position to help her all these years. And it's wonderful news to know that, you know, my sponsorship has helped the family be self-sufficient because that's the ultimate goal. But it's just, I don't know, I'm just sad to say goodbye. So, soon, like, it just, I know it's been 13 years, but I, you know, I was hoping to have like a proper goodbye um but unfortunately it just didn't work out that way so yeah so anyways that is my sponsor child update video uh, a little longer than i intended it to be but stay tuned i guess we'll see um my new sponsor child soon hopefully and um start that new journey with another sponsor child so this will be my fourth sponsor child because um usually as I've been sponsoring like I said 13 years but during that 13 year period I had started sponsoring a second child which was change and then her family moved unexpectedly and they couldn't locate them so then I was assigned Maria as my second sponsor child and Maria I sponsored for about two years I think and then their community reached their goal and they left. And I believe we had a proper goodbye. Um, it wasn't like, yeah, I'm pretty sure we got like a goodbye letter thing um, with her because we had that advance, like that notice or whatever. So, um, yeah, so this will be my fourth sponsor child and... I'm excited to start the new journey with a new child, but it's just, like I said, it's, just, it's very bittersweet. Um, just because it's been so long. I mean, 13 years. I, I just, wow. <laughs> and this isn't even the most recent picture of her. This was the very first picture I ever saw of her on the World Vision website when I sponsored her. And um, this was, I don't know how long ago, this was a few years ago. I hadn't put her most recent picture in there yet, um, but I was going to be doing that. I was just going to get a copy of it made. But yeah, so anyways, guys, um, just, I guess, send, send 
prayers if you're if you're the praying type just send prayers for her and her family to continue to do well and to you know hopefully their their move goes well and her future continues to be bright and hopeful and promising um and uh Stay tuned. Like I said, stay tuned. I will definitely make a video when I get my new sponsor child's letter and picture and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.